Hi, hi. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, yeah. teacher. Hi, good evening, Guadalupe. Welcome, everyone. Let's get this party mm -hmm. started. <clears throat> All right, today's Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. I might be wondering right now, why are not your classmates in the classroom? Estoy, me estoy preguntando ahorita por qué no están todos en el salón de clases, pero esperemos que se conecten, all right? Eh, y voy a iniciar con los readings, así que ustedes ya participaron ayer creo con los readings, ¿verdad, Guadalupe? And, sí. No. Mm, no. Ah, ok, perfect, no. perfect, no. excellent. All right. Hello. Welcome, Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right. Welcome. Now, Thank let's you. get started. Uh, do you remember? All right. We haven't learned yet the jobs, so let me erase this. Okay. It says, mention at least three vocabulary words related to furniture. Let's check. Who remembers that vocabulary? ¿Quién recuerda ese vocabulario? Furniture. Lo vimos ayer. Okay. I remember. Perfect. Tell me three words. Tres three palabras. Words. Okay. Rug. Uh -huh. um, the bookkeeper. Ah, yeah. Bookkeeper, huh? Yeah, the bookkeeper. And um, armchairs. Armchairs. Very good. Yay. Excellent. Thank what you. What about, you're welcome. What about Guadalupe? Tell me another three. Um, I remember refrigerator, uh, bed, dresser, uh, clock. Yes, yes. Very good. Thank you, Guadalupe. Very good. Cindy, tell me another three, please. Mm, bookcase, mm -hmm. uh, rug, and stove. Which one? Stove. Soap. So, oh, sofa. Stove. Ah, it's stove. All right, it's uh -huh. very good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Cindy. Let me check. Uh, Oscar, tell me another three, please. Window. Mm -hmm. mm, sofa. Uh huh. Uh, picture. Pictures. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Anna Melendez, tell me another three, please. Hello. Good evening. Good um, evening. I remember table, uh, microwave, oven. And mirror. 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 Yes, perfect. All right, excellent, everyone. Thank you so much. Very good job. Of course, we have more, right? Claro, tenemos más. But so far, we can say it, we can call it a date with the vocabulary. <laughs> now, let's move on to the two special houses. Por favor, les pido que me levanten la manita virtual quienes fueron los que participaron yesterday, right? En el reading, ok. Miguel, usted participó. Who else? ¿Quién más? Jancy, perfect. Right, solo ustedes dos. Ok, now let's go. We're going to start with Cindy, please. And you are going to deliver... Usted va a entregar The Reading of San Antonio, Texas. Action. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Miss Cisneros' house are white or beige. 
So her house is very different. Some of, some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Meros loves it. Wow, very good, excellent. That was great. Pretty entertaining. Muy entretenida su lectura, excellent. I, I didn't fall asleep. No me dormí, muy bien. Perfect. Now, let's go with eh, Wendy Lopez. Wendy, yo no sé si usted me ayudó ayer, no. Ah, ok, perfect. Ah, pues ya repaso. Action. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many, many other houses near Mrs. Neros's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it. Bravo, very good rhythm and in pronunciation, rhythm and enthusiasm. Great job, Miss Lopez. Just remember this, interesting, repeat. Interesting. Yes. No vayan a pensar, ay, la teacher Areva, lo que bárbara, ni un error me dejó pasar. No, I won't, okay? No voy a permitir eso porque es, es su, su aprendizaje con el que me estoy metiendo si les dejo pasar un error, right? So it's perfect that you practice. Very good. Now, let's go with Carlos Ernesto, please. Now it's your turn, su turno. We don't have Carlos Ernesto in the classroom, so sad. Let's go with Christian Giovanni, please. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. His house is the home of Santa Cisneros. Mr. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch, right, a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. They, they are many books and color, colorful paint. Many other houses near Mr. Cisneros' house are all right or anyhow so here is very different some of neighborhoods i think her house is too colorful but mr cisneros love it very good thank you so much christian for your effort i really appreciate it aprecio mucho christian que usted no se retenga y no participe, sino que sí lo hace, right? You are brave, es valiente, eso es excelente. Repeat after me, Miss. Miss. Sí, este no es Mister, este es Miss, Miss Cisneros, es ella, right? Eh, let me check, repeat after me, White. Right. White. White. Yes, así de simple, relaje la boca, White. Beige. What? Beige. Yes, beige. Um, beige. Which well, so far those are the ones that I remember. Continuamos practicando as a reading, Christian. I know you're going to make it, all right? Now, okay, let's move on you. to the final. You're welcome. All right, let's go to the next one. Arizona, let's start with Guadalupe, please. And after Guadalupe, Mayra. Así que vaya escuchando, Mayra, y prepárese you're the next one. Action. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. 
Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Very good, very good, excellent. You were taking the pauses when they were needed. Fue tomando las pausas cuando eran necesarias. No sentí que me llevara corriendo y tenía una, una buena entonación. That's great. So happy for you. Now, Miguel, he visto que ahí levantó dos veces la manita. I don't know if you have a question. Eh, no, que iba de último, teacher. All right, de último, how, ¿cómo? No, que si iba de último después de todos los demás compañeros. Oh, no, Porque yo con les este pedí... no ensayé. Ah, oh, ok, don't worry. Eh, no, no se preocupe, Miguel. Si ensayó ayer con el otro, that's, that's okay. I'm taking into consideration. Porque ahorita sí necesito que pasen algunos que no me han practicado los readings y no los he detectado todavía cómo van con la lectura. Ok, okay gracias. Thank you. Let's go with my dad. Everybody use many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribe. Most people stay in hotels, but some, some people stay in traditional Native American home called, called Hogan. Orion Nelson, a teacher from Arizona. He invites 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 this visitor to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds, and the floor, and wood burning stone. Miss Nelson teacher her quest about Native American tradition. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mayra. Repeat after me. <coughs> Vamos a ver por donde nos quedamos. Ah, bye. Um, hotels. Hotels. Yes. Hotels. Invites. Invites. Visitors. Visitors. Exactly. Imagínese que esa T es una R, all right? Visitors. Visitors. Yes. And the, those are the ones, okay? Very good. Thank you, Mayra. Let's go with Jose Pedro, please. Action. Um, hello, teacher. Este, every year, mm, many people visit Arizona to, to learn, learn about Navi American like more to learn and um, months. People stay in horror, horrors, um, but some, but some people stay in traditional Nav American house, cars, or organs. Lori Nelson, a teacher from Arizona invites invited uh, vis, visitors to stay in, in her organs in has shares ch chairs to wet hands the floor and uh wounds Booming's uh, show Miss Nelson teacher her boots uh, Navi American traditional. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, let's check. Did you practice? Practice also reading, for example. Okay. Um, 
be honest, sea honesto, right? Did you practice your reading? Practicó su reading en... Este... Con los audios. Ayer este no pude entrar a la clase por mala conexión. Yeah, I understand. Claro, comprendo. Vio la recording, vio la grabación. Mm. Este, no, todavía no, soy sincero. Ok. Um, pero ya trabajo en la plataforma. Este, sí, un poco. Jose, I need you to, uh, to practice the reading. Necesito que practiquemos el reading, ¿ok? Hay que tomarle un poquito de aprecio okay. a la oportunidad que tenemos de estar aquí en el, en el curso, ¿all right? Eh, no sé bien si ustedes están de parte de, de su trabajo, de su empresa, todo lo que están aquí. Thank you, Jose. Gracias. Voy a hacer ese comentario en general. No sé bien si todos están aquí por parte de la empresa o porque lograron la beca, all right? Están intentando, intentando y lograron la beca. That's great. Eh, veo que Guadalupe por ahí está moviendo la, la cabeza como que sí, you were trying, estuve intentando y logró tener la beca. Tomémosle aprecio a esto, ¿ok? Eh, una beca no significa que no vamos a aprender nada, que porque es regalado, and that's it. No. Hay que tomarle más aprecio porque es un gran esfuerzo el que ustedes están haciendo. To be trying, de estar intentando. Y si es de parte de su empresa que les están dando el beneficio, take advantage of it. Tomemos ventaja de eso, ¿ok? Créanme, eh, yo he hablado con bastantes personas que quisieran tener este beneficio and they can't. They can't afford it. No pueden pagarlo. La empresa donde están no se los permite. So, it's, it's pretty sad. Es bien triste porque en realidad ahora en día sí necesitan el inglés. Usted puede ser doctor, puede ser ingeniero, whatever you are. And at the end of the day, y al final del día, si no hay apuesta de trabajo en el, nuestro país de lo que usted estudia, ¿qué le toca? Trabajar de algo que, tenga relacion, que esté relacionado al inglés. Right? And you can earn easy money. Y una manera fácil de ganar dinero. So, let's push yourself. Por favor, presionémonos un poquito más, ¿ok? Que estén en casa, que sea online, no significa que no sirve el aprendizaje. Significa que tenemos que poner o dar la mía extra. ¿Ok? I'm doing it. Yo lo doy. Right? Estoy aquí con ustedes después de un día ajetreado de trabajo con todos los distintos tipos de personas que pueden haber. All right? Adultos, niños, jóvenes. Right? Todo. Yo estoy siempre aquí. With all the hype energy. Right? Con toda la energía para ustedes. Pero si también después de haberles dicho que practiquen, no practican y, me, y you're having issues, también me preocupa porque significa que no le estamos mostrando importancia a eso. No es que no puedan, no es que no tengan la capacidad. You just don't want to. Right? So let's go. Miguel, please give us the example. Read this. Uh, okay, let me see. An example for reading. Yes, give me your example by reading. Deme su ejemplo leyendo, por favor. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> well, here, um, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Thank you, sir. Very good, all right? Thank you. <clears throat> Let's practice some of the words that we have in there. This is for everyone. Gracias, Miguel. Excelente trabajo. Y para todos en general, practiquemos el vocabulary que se muestra en estos readings, okay? Now, just vocabulary and activities. Vamos a pasar ahora a un tema que es muy interesante y lo necesitan para trabajar. ¿Ok? Jobs vocabulary. We have, let me check. We have cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, judge, lawyer, Lawyer, musician, musician, no es musician, no, musician, musician, nurse, nurse, pilot, pilot, 
police officer, police officer, receptionist, receptionist, salesperson, salesperson. <coughs> no es sales person, es salesperson, salesperson. Security guard, security guard. No es guard, es guard. Security guard. Singer, singer. Waiter, waiter. Waitress, waitress. Waiter es camarero y waitress es mesera o camarera. Okay. Este es el único de todos los trabajos o las vocaciones que tiene distintivo para el género. All right. Waiter para él, waitress para ella. Okay. Now, if that wasn't enough, por si eso no fue suficiente, nos vamos a ir a la platform. Okay. Let me just checking here <clears throat> okay let's pay attention to the video please here we go can you see the platform see when la plataforma yes perfect thank you Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One, he's a receptionist. Two, she's a doctor. Three, she's a nurse. Four, he's a pilot. Five, she's a flight attendant. Six, he's a musician. Seven, she's a singer. Eight, she's a judge. Nine, he's a police officer. Ten, he's a lawyer. Eleven, he's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places, in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. Doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier. Store. This is the place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Now, let's go with this. <clears throat> 
you won't tell me he's a lawyer, he's not, right? You're just gonna tell me the jobs. Solo quiero los jobs. No quiero sustantivo más trabajo. Perdón, no quiero sujeto más trabajo. Quiero solo el jobs vocabulary. Como yo se los dije al principio, okay? So, do I have any volunteers? Tengo algún voluntario. Okay. Oscar, excellent. Thank you. Action. Cashier. Cook or chef. Doctor. Flight attendant. Judge. Lawyer. Musician. Nurse. Pilot. Police officer. Receptionist. Salesperson, person. Security car. Singer. Waiter. Waitress. Very good. Excellent, Oscar. Thank you so much. Let's just practice the first one, cashier. Right? Un poquito más relajadito, cashier. Excellent. Let's go with the next one. Another one? Alguien más? Voluntario? Perfect. Let me check. Paula, excellent. Thank you. By the way, everyone, por cierto, Paula, uh, she told me that she's new, all right, in the group. So you are welcome, Paula. Thank you so much for coming. Let me listen to you. Thank you. Um, Kasher, good or chef, doctor, flight attendant, just, law lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sailor's person, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. That's great. Let's go with Guadalupe, please. Action. Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Perfect. Just Guadalupe, security guard. Security guard. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. ¿Quién más? ¿Qué tal Wendy López? Y luego Ana Meléndez. Cashier, cook, or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, Salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and uh, waiters. That's correct. Thank you so much. Very good. Let's go with Ana Melendez and after Ana, Alison, Stephanie. Action. Cashier, cook, or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse. Pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security ward, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent. Repeat after me. Uh, lawyer. Lawyer. Mm -hmm. uh, security guard. Security guard. Singer. Singer. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go with Alison. What is? Cashier, cook or chair, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, policy officer, receptionist, third person, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. That's correct. Thank you so much. Very good. Let's go with the next one. And Wendy Arevalo, please. After Wendy, Christian Giovanni. K. 
cashier, cook or chef, doctor, fly attendant, judge, liar, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waitress, waitress. Repeat, waiter. Waiter. Very good. Only that one. Solo ese. Gracias, Wendy. Thank you. Let's go with Christian, please. Uh, cashier, uh, cook or chief, doctor, uh, flight attendant, Dutch, library, uh, musician, uh, musician, nurse, pilot, uh, police officer, receptionist, uh, sales person, security guard, singer, uh, waiter, and waitress. Repeat after me. Judge. Uh, Dutch. No, repeat. Judge. Uh, Dutch. No, usted me está poniendo la D. Es como si dijera yo. Judge. Dutch. No, usted me sigue poniendo la D, Christian. Póngale la Y, póngale la Y. Judge. Judge. Ajá, no, you see, yeah, very good. That's correct, okay, judge. Teacher. Así es, correcto. Y vamos judge. con otra. Lawyer. Lawyer. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente, que sería eh, José Pedro. Si necesita ayuda, José, me dice. Yo voy con usted. Okay. Cashier, <clears throat> cook, uh, chef, um, and no. finish at ten. Ah, perdón. <laughs> Doctor, um, flight, fly, fly attender, <clears throat> um, George, <clears throat> George, um, lawyers, lawyers, um, Musicians, musicians, um, singer, um, Por, no, se saltó, se saltó como cinco. Es nurse, <laughs> nurse, Perdón. nurse, um, pilot, pilot, um, police officer, um, receptionist, uh, después. Salesperson. Salesperson. No, sales, no, sales. Sales. Sayers. Sayers. Uh -huh. Person. Uh -huh. Security cars. Uh -huh. uh, singers. Uh, waiter. Y chasers. Ok, repita después de mí. Singer. Singer. Waitress. Waitress. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Uh, let me check. Miguel Ángel, please. I'm um, sorry, teacher. Eh, eh, excuse me. Fíjese que, que estoy cuidando a mi mamá. Este, eh, estaba cambiando pan. Yeah, don't worry. It's okay. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? ¿Qué tengo que hacer? You just gotta tell me the vocabulary. Solo me tiene que decir ah. el vocabulary. Pero si está ocupado, don't worry, ¿ok? No, 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 ya, ya terminé. Okay, eh, cashier, book, a cook, and, or chef, uh, doctor. We have a doctor in the class. Uh, flight really? attendant. Yeah. Who's Guadalupe, the doctor? Guadalupe is the, really? is the doctor. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great, Guadalupe. Déjame consulta gratis. Greetings, greetings. ¿Por qué no se Guadalupe. me quita la tos? All right, sí. sorry, Miguel. Okay, flight attendant, a judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, uh, I'm not sure how do you pronounce, but uh, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Perfect. Thank you, Miguel. Maybe, maybe help me with the uh, pronunciation about uh, receptionist. Receptionist. 
Receptionist, okay. Yes, re, okay. receptionist. Receptionist, okay. Yes, perfect, excellent, okay. thank you. That's thank correct. You. All right, okay. my dear students, some of you passed, some of you didn't pass, don't worry, algunos no pasaron y no crean que no sé quién, no pasó Cindy, no pasó Mayrita, eh, no pasó, let me check, mm, Jansi, all right. Como tres o cuatro me hicieron falta. Pero no es que no van a pasar. Ya van a pasar. Okay, let's check the following. All of these people, all of these uh, jobs are done in a place, all right? Todas estas personas o todos estos trabajos se llevan a cabo en un lugar. Different places. We have in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Then we have activities. We have... Y estas personas también realizan actividades, of course. Wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Okay? So let's check. Um, let's go with Cindy, please. Give me the places and give me the activities. Okay, places in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, spend all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Thank you, that's correct. Jancy, please, your turn. Jancy de Odanis. Places in a hospital, in a office, in a hotel, activity, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles, hand, handles money, works, works at night, he writes tickets. Bravo, repeat after me. Handles. Hand, handles. Yes, handles money. Que maneja dinero. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with the next one, Mayra. Action. Places in, in a hospital, in a office, in a store, in a hotel activity wear a uniform sit all day talk to people okay Mayra or... Mayra stop where's where's sits sits talks talks tienen S no se esté comiendo las S continue works hard stand all day Handle money. Handles. Handles money. Mm -hmm. Works at night. Rice tickets. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Mayra. Very good. Now, take into consideration some things. Ahorita voy a explicar algo. Presten atención porque eso no lo tiene explícito en la platform. Es, es un tema alejado, podríamos decir. You might notice, podrán notar que en la zona de places, algunos places tienen a y otros tienen n, right? n, a, n. That's called infinite, that's called infinite, indefinite articles, right? Indefinite articles. So whenever you have a consonant, si su noun, en este caso los nouns son hospital, office, store, and hotel, si su noun inicia con una consonant, o sea, una consonante, cualquier letra que no sea una vocal es una consonante, all right? Uh, if your noun starts with that, si su noun comienza con eso, usted va a utilizar a, all right? A. Si su noun inicia con una vowel, una vocal, usted va a utilizar an. Por eso la excepción office. Inicia con O, lleva N. 
Ahora bien, si se fijan en activities, ustedes verán un gap, verán un vacío ahí, dirán, teacher, pero ahí no se está aplicando la regla gramatical que usted está mencionando. Where's a uniform? Tenemos una vocal con otra vocal, o sea, un noun que inicia con vocal. How is that even possible? ¿Cómo es eso posible? ¿Va en contra de lo que usted está diciendo gramaticalmente? No. It does not. Right? No va en contra. La regla gramatical también menciona que si el sonido es de una consonant, you, uniform, suena como si tuviera consonant, you. Entonces, si el sound, it's like a consonant. Si el sonido es como una consonante, utilizamos a automáticamente. Right? Por eso les digo, Cuatro habilidades que se tienen que desarrollar. Speaking, listening, uh, reading, and writing. Y aquí va el, el listening y el writing. ¿sí? Cuando usted escucha que el noun inicia con una consonant o el sonido lo tiene una consonant, tiene que utilizar A. Right. Without being said, do we have any questions? Habiendo dicho esto, ¿tenemos preguntas, dudas, consultas? Teacher, disculpe, no entendí bien eh, cuando se refería al sonido, porque dice a uniform. Entonces, este, si usted explica muy bien cómo dice que tiene que sonar como consonante, eh, ¿cuál sería entonces el sonido ahí que está? Uniform. Okay, okay. Uniform. ¿Cuál sería el sonido consonante que? U. 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 Pero esa que. que suena la U. Ajá, pero. Sí, suena como mm. como vocal. Exactly. It sounds like a vowel. But for them, not. Pero de acuerdo a ellos, no. En realidad, esta, de hecho, esta sentence, eh, porque yo lo pensaba lo mismo, right, eh, Miguel? Sí. Aplicar la regla gramatical, you, sounds like a vowel. Para mí suena como una vocal, pero ellos lo toman como que con, suena como una consonante uniendo la Y y la O, U, you, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how they take. Por eso hace... A ver, ver recuérdeme el sonido de la Y. ¿Qué sería? Es why. Why. Uh -huh. okay, why. Es why. why. Pero ellos tomaron el sonido como si fuera el, el subject pronoun you. Uh -huh. right? ¿Lo recuerda? Entonces, por sí. eso lo toman ellos así. Okay. You, el sujeto del pronombre you, no, no es que inicie con u, ¿verdad? Sino que no, lleva no. la why. Pero el sonido no. es you. Y you. Uh -huh. Ah, exacto. Entonces, ellos lo toman, lo toman así. Si el noun okay. suena como si tuviera una consonant, le ponemos a. Entonces aquí sería una excepción a la regla. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exceptions. Okay. Y aprovecho el comercial. Este, eh, ¿Cómo se dice cuidador? Hoy, hoy está muy de moda la, la ocupación Care. de cuidador. De Care. cuidador de una paciente, un paciente. Care. Yes, he's a care. Entonces, caregiver. Or... También puede ser caregiver, yes. Caregiver, okay. Más profesional, caregiver. Right. Okay. I am a caregiver. <laughs> I, I was noticing that. That's that's very good. And let me congratulate you for your effort because you are doing something highly important and at the same time you are learning. So congrats. Okay, thank you very much. You are making the maximum is first is first so <laughs> the maximum effort, right? Very good job. Now let's check a uh, Let's move on with the next one. Vamos a movernos a lo siguiente. Mm, let me check. Uy, wait. I have stopped presenting. Okay, I'm presenting again. Um, por aquí tenía una practice para ustedes. Where is it? Vamos a hacer una practice. Eh, me van a crear una sentence utilizando eh, la profesión, right? Utilizando la profesión. For example, <clears throat> uh, Anita is a doctor. She works in a hospital. And she wears a uniform all day. All right? Una oración así. Me van a mencionar la profesión, el lugar y la actividad. Only one sentence, please. Thank you.
All right. Uh, please send your sentences through the through the chat box. Envíenme por aquí por el chat box sus sus oraciones, please. Ah, okay. Paula, uh, we don't say prayers. We say sentences or statements. Puede decir sentences. Por aquí se lo voy a enviar. O statements que significa afirmaciones, right? Sentences, oraciones, o statements, que son afirmaciones. Prayers, sí existe prayers, pero cuando hablamos en sentido espiritual de algo, right? Cuando son oraciones, de rezos, u oraciones a Dios normales, ahí son prayers. Pero ahorita, ya gramaticalmente hablando, solo son sentences o statements. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Paula ya envió su oración, muy buena, excelente. Vamos a ver quién más le envía por aquí. Guadalupe is a doctor. She works hard attending a lot of people. She works in a hospital. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. All right, in the hospital, my best friend Alex is studying to be a doctor. <clears throat> All right, si va a iniciar con in the hospital, agreguele coma. Y también ahí me está utilizando presente progresivo. Y todavía no estamos en el presente progresivo, estamos en el simple present. Presidente progresivo creo que lo vieron en el primer nivel, all right? los que estuvieron con esta academia. Si no, pues <coughs> eh, lo van a volver a ver en algún momento de su vida aquí. All right? Pero so far, ahorita solo simple present. Y ahí me están poniendo, is studying to be a doctor. Ese es progressive. All right? And Valerie is a lawyer. She works in a, no, she works in an office. And she works hard. Very good job, Guadalupe. Excellent. Awesome. Susan is a nurse. She she works. Esa es, eh, she works in a hospital at night. What about the rest? Y el resto. <clears throat> Ok, Paula, do you have a question? ¿Tiene una pregunta, Paula? Perdón, no había visto su mano. Yes, teacher. Um, 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 no hay un grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, sí, Paula. De hecho, eso quería explicarle. A usted, cuando le enviaron la información para meterse aquí a la, a, a la reunión, tendrían que haberle enviado el link para el grupo de WhatsApp, eh, también el link para ver las grabaciones, no sé si le aparecen ahí, Paula. No, solo me, me han mandado el código para entrar a Zoom y este, el link para entrar a la plataforma. Vale, entonces pídale usted de favor que le envíen el, el link para entrar al grupo de WhatsApp y para ver las recordings, dígale, porque quiere ver las grabaciones. ¿okay? Sí, vale, gracias. Entonces, este es un recurso que ustedes tienen derecho y pueden, pueden pedirlo, ¿ok? Yeah. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué nos dice? ¿Perdón, José? Teacher, este, bueno, en el caso de ella, en mi caso, perdón, este, me lo enviaron por correo. No uh -huh. sé qué revise ella. Ah, sí, Paula, tiene razón, José, gracias. De hecho, a mí también me lo envían por correo, pero a veces cae en spam, en la parte de spam, ¿ok? Entonces también puede revisar ahí, ya si no está ninguna de esas dos, <coughs> sí pídalo por WhatsApp a ellos. Vamos a ver. Selena is a singer. She works hard on her music. She works in the office. Very good, excellent. Three sentences. 
Kim is a cashier. She works at Walmart from nine to eight. She handles money all day. Very good. Funny, funny. Really like that one. Me gustó mucho esa. Excelente. Super descriptiva esa sentence. Te voy a dar mi risa. I'm laughing about it. All right. Uh, then we have my sister is a nurse. She works in a hospital and she works hard. Very good. Great. Victor Ramos. I am an engineer. I work for a company in Santa Ana. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Monica is a cashier. She handles money. She works in a bank. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Ay, qué feliz me hace ver estas sentences. Espero que las estén haciendo sin la necesidad del internet. My brother is a chef. He works in a hotel all week. He cooks delicious. Is that true, Oscar? Or it's just invented? <clears throat> Where is he? My brother, my brother in law is chef. Ah, okay, perfect. That's cool. If you're honest, he cooks yep. delicious. <laughs> yeah. Great. Excellent. All right, my dear students, congratulations to you. No solamente les pedí que me la enviaran por el chat solo por verlas, sino que quería asegurarme la, la escritura, el grammar, cómo lo están poniendo, ¿ok? So it's perfect. So far we're doing so good. Hasta ahorita vamos muy bien, los felicito. Now, let's move on to pronunciation, reduction of do and does, all right? Where you get uh, to have a conversation with a Native American. Cuando ustedes lleguen a tener una conversación con un nativo, del idioma inglés, notarán que muchas veces, dependiendo del, del departamento, les iba a decir, dependiendo del estado a donde ellos vivan, um, así es eh, la entonación que ellos le dan a las palabras, las reducciones que hacen. ¿okay? Esta es una reducción que por lo menos, eh, como no había tenido contacto con personas de California, yo nunca la había escuchado esta reduction, all right? Um, pero me di cuenta que las personas de California específicamente utilizan mucho esta reduction. So let's check. Where do you work? Sería una pregunta normal. Pero aquí contractada decimos, where do you work? Where do you work? Unimos el do, you. Do you, do you, do you. Where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Where does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? Okay, they put it together. I know it might seem difficult. Sé que puede lucir difícil, pero lo necesitan. All right? Ese oído tiene que estrenarse para eso. Okay? And let's go with the next one. Do I have a volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario que quiera eh, brillar ahorita. <laughs> Let me know. Be brave. Be courageous. Sean valientes. Paula, perfect. Girl power. Uh, todos. Mm, only the first two, so los primeros dos. Where do you work? And where does he work? All right, pero unido, Paula. Do you, do you, do you? Does he, does he, does he? Where do you work? Where does he work? Excellent, that's correct. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Miguel, please. Pero me lo van a decir en filita hacia abajo, por favor, porque si me lo dan en línea... Uh, we may we may mistake it, right? Vamos, Miguel, vi ahí su manita. Los primeros okay. dos hacia abajo. Okay, where do you work? What do you work? What do you do? What do you Very do? good, excellent, good rhythm. Uh, let's go with Guadalupe, the other two, los del medio. Where does he work? What do we do? Bravo, perfect. And Andrea <laughs> Flores, the last two, los últimos dos, Andrea. Where do they work? Where do they do? 
Very good, all right? Vamos a seguir trabajando en eso. Para mañana, tienen una practice. Ahí la van a, la van a encontrar en los videos. Escuchemos una, escuchemos dos, escuchemos tres veces ese audio, all right? Créanme, vale la pena. Vale la pena hacerlo porque sí van a encontrar personas que así les van a hablar. All right, so that's it. Uh, my dear students, recuerden que para este día ya tienen que tener completamente finalizada la sección 2. Y si pueden iniciar la 3, let's do it. Hagámoslo, all right? Um, don't waste your time. Si tenemos un tiempo libre, let's use it. Utilicémoslo, all right? Mañana tenemos que trabajar la sección 3 completa para que el día jueves finalicemos con el midterm. No, con si sí, midterm exam es el que tiene usted en la plataforma del nivel 3, all right? All right, my dear students, thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 B